Welcome to this session. My name is Charles Ugu. I'm a Nigerian and uh, I'm based in London, UK with my family where I practice as a business analyst, a project manager. Um, the level of my education, outside all the training I've had, I have um, a master's degree from Digital Enterprise Management, University of Westminster, London. And that was uh, in 2011. And since then, I've been in the industry, working as a project manager and business analyst. I've been in telecommunication, retail industry, um, health sector like NHS. And uh, I have so many training, both in Six Sigma, Agile methodology, and a lot of them. So, and all this combination of experience and the training and knowledge, and that's what I'll be using. And I'm equally a developer. I'm a developer, I'm a PHP developer. So I develop a lot of um, complex web applications and uh, mobile applications. So, and all this has given me the kind of experience that I need in order to, to manage projects, um, find solution for organizations, deploy any kind of uh, solution, manage any kind of complex projects. And uh, over time, I've been thinking about um, transferring my knowledge to the next generation. You know, something that gives me happy, makes me happy. I find myself here not just because of the money, but um, satisfaction in doing something. You know, mentoring, knowledge trans uh, uh, transfer, uh, transferring knowledge and the rest is something I feel that at this point in time, I have to venture in and start doing that. And equally, I'm moving seriously into startups. I'm working on a lot of startups at this moment. As you know that even this one we are, we are working on now, this platform is a startup. And uh, it's not been long I started this. And there's a lot of them on the, in my startup lab. I've got a big lab for startup. I call it a startup incubator. So this is what I'll be doing. Yeah, over the years. And I'm happy that you take this you take this decision to dive into IT or to advance your your knowledge or your career in IT. If you look at the world today, IT um, is the new is the new um, blood money. If you're an IT, you can all of a sudden become a billionaire, either working or either own a company. But I tell you, whoever is venturing in IT is in the right direction as in the world today. If you're looking at what the IT is doing, looking at artificial intelligence, you're looking at uh, blockchain, if you're looking at um, um, all these cloud technologies, machine learning, a lot of them. So IT have the capacity to create jobs, to create jobs for everybody. So, so there is well, uh, some people are complaining there is no job, there is no job. Forget it, there is jobs. Well, what we don't have is the, the required skills. But when you talk about jobs, there are so many jobs out there. 
the job we have is more than the professionals we have. But we don't have we don't have enough professionals. That's why the freelancing job has become the order of the day. Because mostly in Western world, where this uh, IT uh, profession uh, is trending or is a high demand, they don't have enough professionals. And now they're looking beyond Western world. They are ready to go into the developing countries to source for professionals. Because that's why if you know what you are doing, as an IT professional, location doesn't matter. Location doesn't matter. Currently, I'm in Nigeria um, for a business trip, but you have not stopped me from doing my job. Both my teaching, both my office work, both everything. You know, all I need is uh, my computer and the uh, internet access, and I can all work from anywhere that is the, the work of it if you are if you are a mother if you are if you are, have children can walk and look after your, your, your children that's the the, the what it can provide these days and i believe all of us knows all these things that's why you guys are here so i welcome yes. you once again just like i see i told you my name what i've been doing my view about what we are doing here and uh, at this point, I would love to know just briefly about you, um, so that I know you are, how deep you are into what we are doing, whether you are a starter, but it doesn't matter whether you are a starter, whether you are deep, I will at least want to know a bit about you, you know, so that, because we are going to be friends, whether you, you like me or you don't like me, we are going to be, we are stuck here, we are going to be stuck here for, for the next four months. So we have to find a way to appreciate um, one another here and uh, tolerate one another, no matter what. So I'll, I'll hand over to you guys for a brief introduction your name, which I've already known, and your location, and a brief view about anything you want. Yeah, I'm handing over. I'm not calling them, so you can just um, tell us about yourself and start from there. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. Uh, yeah, we can hear you. Hello. Okay, my name is Femi Onibabaji. I work in the financial firm, specifically a bank. I work as a credit administrator. I've been involved in projects like uh, core banking, application integration, uh, ISO, subscription processes, and a couple of, uh, I think the last one I worked on was, uh, I was part of a uh, project on uh, enterprise management the development so i've been around project for a while and this has been the reason why i really want to uh, expand my knowledge so i want to go into this analysis to be a sort of professional in that aspect so that has been my so that's basically, uh, basically my the push for the for the training yeah, you are welcome, Femi. You are welcome. Welcome. Okay, good evening, everybody. Good evening. My name is Abodurin Kaberat. Um, my location currently is Ibadan, Noyo State. 
and I'm a school teacher here in Ibadu. A um, public school teacher, actually. So I heard about this um, particular program from a friend that my friend was lucky to get the free training for the first program, the hybrid, I think. So she told me about someone who got a job with Hafex, a, a big company, a multinational company. The person did um, project management actually. So she, I think she was surfing the internet or something. So she got lucky with the free training. So she told me about this program and ever since, you know, because uh, school teachers in Nigeria, yeah, you know, our salary is laughable. You can tell I'm a level eight teacher. So ever since I've been looking for a way to get things better and get out of the teaching industry and move to IT. So that's how I know about this program. And I'm so happy to be here actually. And it's so nice talking to everyone this night. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Well, Good evening, all. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. My good evening. name is Lovett Nechi Eze. I'm speaking from Bern, Switzerland. Okay. Though I'm just about two and some months here, I was working with National Orientation Agency in Nigeria before coming. Though I read computer science and engineering, but that wasn't what I was now doing at the job. But I really want to go back to, to pick my pieces back to know if I can get something better to help the society and my family as well. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. OK, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. My name is Donald Ibe. Um, I'm actually on the road. So please, just pardon the noise and the interferences. I'm actually on the way back from the training session. Um, I work in the banking industry. Uh, I have about 15 years banking experience. I actually um, read chemistry as a first degree and um, had masters in um, environmental management. I'm happy to be here. Um, I've always desired to do something else, um, having spent uh, quite a number of years in the banking industry. And I look forward to having um, a great time here and um, the exposure, the required exposure I'll need to fit into another line, especially in terms of um, IT and also business management. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Donald. Good evening, everyone. My location, my location, I'm currently based in um, Akwa Ibom, with you. All right. You're welcome. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. I'm um, Ditimi by name, based in Bielsa. I'm a lab technologist. I studied chemistry technology. But I've always wanted to go into project management because I feel there is so much to do when it comes to time management and time accuracy. Because even in the lab, certain things will be given to you and there is a time frame. And whereas you cannot manage your time given, you can be penalized and all that. So I've always wanted to go into project management and taking this course, I think it would enable me not just in my present for profession, but also to advance and get better. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you can see um, the importance of this um, introduction. We are beginning to, to know ourselves very well, to understand ourselves very well, to understand our background very well. 
uh, which is going to help us in this uh, um, training because as we all know, after this training, the training is going to be um, one month. And after the training, we are going to go into um, work placement. Work placement where we are going to do, uh, put what we've learned into practice. Because uh, most companies have worked, they, they don't just ask you questions. Uh, they want to know your, your, your commercial experience. And that is where so many um, junior project managers and the business analysts, where they're having uh, problems because most of them will, will graduate from university or do training but no real life experience. They've not done anything. They've not deployed any solution. And that's why so many of them struggle. So we need to do it practical. That's the importance of the, the work, work placement. And it's kind of, if you don't have any experience in your CV, it can come handy having work for us uh, with, uh, within this, four months, because after this training, we are going to um, deploy you to any of our startup company where you are going to do your, your, your work experience, uh, work placement. So this is how it's going to be, be done. Having said that, um, I know how we struggle here in Nigeria. Things are very hard. And like this program, I'm running this, exactly this program in UK, where I get paid um, 1,200 1, pounds per student. That's what I earn. If you want me, I will, I will, I will prove it. But here, when I started this, the first one I just give out um, it's a free promo, 100% discount. And a lot of people, like currently, we have actively 120 um, trainees on our work uh, placement after the training. And they are enjoying it. They are, they, are, they are, so many of them are already having interviews here and there, and they've not even finished their. They are, they are, they are, they are, they are work placement. So, and I'm happy for that. And the first thing we did was a hybrid. Hybrid is that I'm trying to look at how to maximize the opportunity of getting a job. That even if you are not getting a job in project management, you can get a job in business analysis. And that's why, because if you find out in the industry, Business analysts and project managers, they work together. It just few um, uh, differences within their role. And a good business analyst can even do the job of a project manager. So uh, that's why I decided to, to, to weave these two um, professions together. So I call it hybrid. A project manager, business analyst. I've done that role so many times. So many small companies, they want to, to get um, everything from you. They want you to be their business analyst. They want you to be their project manager. At times, if they know that you are a developer, they want you to do everything for them. Like if you are, if you are starting, you might, you, anything they want you to do, you just uh, do it in order to get the job. But when you're advancing, you wouldn't want anybody to push you around or to um, drain you of like that. So you have the, uh, to choose either to work as a business analyst or to work as a project manager. So that's why we weaved it. And after looking at that, uh, if you look at um, the Western, um, the developing countries, there is a high rate of unemployment and government is not helping. So this is one other um objective of setting up this um 
uh, school, looking at how we can um, create jobs for our students after graduating, they should be able to create jobs through startup. Like a, a, a class like this after their training, deploying solution. These are what um, every company use to start up their company. After having all this experience, you put them together and then encourage them with all the knowledge, facilities, anything they, they, they need to, to start up their own company and not com be complaining of. So that's why we came up with um, a tri-breed, adding another layer into hybrid. You know? So uh, that is what happened. But it becomes uh, obvious that um, we are still struggling. Yeah, a lot of people are still struggling and a lot of people cannot still afford the cost. And after looking at that, I'm just trying to make sure that a lot of people get in because I saw the pressure after we closed that, um, the first day, um, this is our first uh, promo, a lot of people still try to come in, even when we've gone halfway into the program. So I said to find a way to still reduce the price so that people will come in and that's why I decided to to reduce it down to then making a single project a single apprenticeship like in project management and then in business analysis for people to choose whichever one they want to make sure that they still come into this and uh, get this experience and the uh, opportunity so but I'm still happy because we are still starting at you guys here um, took the bold step, you know, and uh, become part of what we are doing. And the goal here is not the money. I'm not saying I have enough money, but money is not everything to me. Number one thing is to impact on you guys and then to make the name and then feel happy that I'm doing this. So, and at this point, if you are still not uh, still sure about what you're doing, we are ready to refund you your money, 100%. That is me. That's the point I'm trying to make. And secondly, the startup will take a lot. I'm a software engineer. I know what it means to start up. And the kind of startup I'm thinking about is competing with um, Uber, competing with Uber Eats, competing with um, Just Eat, Deliveroo, competing with um, Jumia competing with AliExpress. These are the kind of startups we are talking about. And this is what is trending in, in Western world. And I want to be bringing all these things down home. Um, that's why I introduced this startup on top of this uh, program. But as you can see, it's, it's not going to be possible because we are not enough to affect this startup. So we are just going to fall back on project management and business analysis with uh, work placement. What I'm saying is that you might have been hoping that after this we proceed to startup. But looking at the number, my plan is that the startup is going to be a minimum of um, 50 people so that we can have enough funds to go into startup because with what we have now, even with what you paid me and the kind of software required, although I'm a software engineer at my time, we cannot achieve that. I can't start up with what you just um, uh, paid. So it's not, um, it's not, uh, there's no magic about it. So 
like um, those who have paid for the startup, like um, I know the startup is hundred. I, I, I was charging hundred um, thousand naira. If you still want to proceed within the hybrid level, then we are going to refund you fifty thousand because the startup cannot take place. And those who paid part payment of 50,000, hoping that the startup um, will still take place. If you are not happy, hoping that you pay up, then we can refund you your money. But if you still want to continue on hybrid level, which will, uh, our standard we have been using, then we can still carry on. And for those who are who choose single apprenticeship, we can still carry on as, as usual. So these are um, the things I, I want to address now because um, I love my personality and I'm not going to trade my personality for anything because very soon now, People start saying you collected money from us, and you promised us you are going to start up with us, and this, and you fail. So this is um, what I want to address before we we proceed. So if you are comfortable with what I've just said, we proceed. And those that I need to refund part of the payment, I'll do that. You send me your bank details, I'll do that, and that is it. So I, I need a bit of response from those that are concerned in this particular issue. Like um, love it. Yeah. Yeah, you paid uh, you paid hundred k. I remember that, and the agreement yeah. is on startup, but the startup is not taking place. So what we we'll do is a uh, project management, business analysis, and work placement. So if if you've hoped that we're going to to do a startup, because we don't have enough um, students, students. You, can't, you can't do that right now. So if you are, if you are, if, but if you still hoping that the, whichever way is either we refund you your money, part payment, or if you are no longer interested because maybe that's the what you really wanted, then you can refund you hundred percent of your money. So this is what I want to hear before, and I don't want, I didn't want to make it personal. I didn't want to start calling you alone. I want, I'm, I'm a very. No. <laughs> I'm a, very, I'm, a, I'm a very straightforward person. That's why I brought it here so that everybody will hear me. There is no point to refunding because maybe after this class, if there is another class or I don't know. Yeah, there's uh, other classes coming because I'm, um, I'm uh, currently working on my a data analysis class, which I'll start very soon. So these are the, the other class and the um, customer support is coming up, was coming up very soon is customer support and the um, data analysis. These are the ones I'm going to handle myself. You know, I'm working with other people that, um, other professionals that are going to join, you know, but these are the, the way we are now. And the one we are doing, I'm not boasting, but we are doing well. Because uh, my, my students, they are responses. And yeah, Femi, you are raising your hand. I would like to ask, when did the performance support come in? Yeah? When are we starting the customer support? Like when are you going to be? Okay, yeah, that will be in one month time, so that I'll be able to to set this one rolling, then we'll commence. So they are, they are coming up. 
just like we know that we are starting up. We are just a startup. We are, so I want to everybody to understand what I'm doing. The, my class in the UK is uh, more stable than this. And so, so that is um, Cabriat, you are raising your hand. Yes, I want to ask if we do we get a certificate after the program? Yeah, you'll see it very soon how everything will. After here, I'm taking you people to the platform so that you see how the platform was, the navigation, and a lot of things, how we are going to be working. So that's what, after this particular introduction, the next thing, because this is an, um, it's an induction, then we'll move okay. to the platform where we are going to be, it's a kind of administrative block. So you've got your, your, your login details, you log in, that's where all these courses, even this um, live class will be uploaded there. So you, so you can go back there and uh, watch even if um, and by mistake or whatever happened, by, you, you happen to miss a class, you can go back and watch the, the video and we will equally be given assignments. So the assignment will be in the through the platform. When after the assignment, you submit your assignment and we'll mark your assignment and award your mark based on your performances. These are what we are going to be doing. So, but once you go to the uh, platform, you see how everything works. Because it's good to understand how the platform works before we start the training. The actual training will start tomorrow. Today is all about introduction, you know, try to like things we, are, uh, we don't understand very well, we understand ourselves very well uh, before we go proper into the training tomorrow. So if you are um, okay. Okay, I have another. Okay. I have another question, sir. Okay. I want to ask if we'll be missing on anything big or is there like, anything we are missing on without the startup? Like, will it affect our training or something? No, 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 you are not missing anything. The, actually, the, 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 the startup is that when you finish, because we are, we are going to work on real life projects. And the, the real life project I wanted us to work is um, on a startup that I'm working on. And after the real life project, then we can just, um, I wanted my students to then own the, the, the startup. It becomes a 50-50 equity. My students okay. will have 50% equity and I that develop the startup will have 50% equity. And we run, okay. me and, and my students will run the startup in partnership. So wow. that's the plan. But that's not that like we're not going to look. The only thing that the opportunity is not coming now, but not that the opportunity will not come again because that is the vision okay. of this um, uh, school. The okay. vision is this entrepreneur. That okay. is the vision. Every other thing is revolving around the um, technology entrepreneur like um, Uber and the rest of them. So if you, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you look at the, here in Nigeria, if I tell you how much um, Jumia is making, Jumia is a French company. If I tell you how much MTN is making, the, all these all these startups, but we Nigerians, we are just following them. But I'm not blaming anybody. What is, it's time we start something. The younger generation starts something. I'm very proud with uh, Fluta Wave, and the pesta, what they are doing. We need to do more of this. And this is what I'm encouraging my students to do. Something like a footer wave, a pesta. I'm, I'm so, so, so uh, proud of them. And we can do something like that. So that's the vision. It's not that like, we are not, you are not gonna miss anything. The, the quality of the training and the standard remain 
it will continue to increase. The standard will continue to increase. The standard of this training and the quality will be higher than the one we did because we learn over time. The continue, it's going to be a continuous improvement, which we are going to learn as a business analyst. That if you are working on a solution as a business analyst, is going to be on continuous improvement. Even after you have deployed the solution, the solution will continue to, um, to, to, to be improved on. And that's what the DevOps is all about. That's what um, Six Sigma is all about, continuous improvement. So that's it. You are not going to lose any, any quality. Rather, the quality will continue to go up. OK, sir. Yeah. So I want to ask again, how does data analysis relate with project management and business analysis? Sir? You are going to find out very soon. But I will answer this question. Data analysis is part of a business analysis. Business analysis is very, very wide. Data analysis is a subset of business analysis. If your business analysis is a category, data analysis falls under the subcategory of a business analysis. So if you're a data analyst, you are equally a business analyst. But due to the fact that data analysts, um, they, 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 are, they, are, they are in higher demand and they are more drilled, they, 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 they go more into the data, the company tend to need them um, more. No. So we have decided, we, they, they, they've decided to kind of give it more priority. And now people don't, really, so many people that are not into the industry, don't know or understand that data analysis is part of business analysis. So when you become a business analyst and want to progress more, you can decide to 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 deep to um, to cut deep into okay. data analysis. But they are the same. Okay. And the business um, project manager, where project manager comes in, is that a project manager manages all these um, uh, projects, the um, IT projects. If you are deploying any solution, all these solutions uh, we are deploying um, to solve company problems, they are all projects. And somebody needs to lead that project. And who is leading? Project manager. So that that project will be delivered on time, and on budget, on, on, on specification and meeting the goal. Yeah, specification is meeting the goal. So if you don't have anybody trained and uh, in somebody owing that responsibility, you find out that the project might not really end up well. So they all work together. But as we go into the, the, the training, you will see all these things. We'll cover everything. So at this point, uh, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to move into um, our platform. We log in and uh, see how the, the user interface looks like. Uh, see if it, it, maybe some of you have been struggling or don't understand the way it works. So we'll move in now and you see how it works. So that's going to be the next thing yeah, we are going to do. And uh, I will bring up my screen so that we can do that right now. I hope you guys are seeing my um, screen. Yes, sir. Okay. So we are going to log in as a student.
I'll type in my email address and my password. Oh. So now, now that I've um, imputed my password, my um, login details, this is what I'll see. And what will I do is either that I move in as an instructor, as an but I here I'm a student, so I have to go straight to my courses. And I'll click on my courses, and it's going to bring us uh, here. This is the course. The courses that um, you've, um, you see the courses that uh, you, you are enrolled in. And let's see here, you start um, lesson, click on start lesson. And when you click on start lesson, it's going to bring you to this um, uh, interface. Yeah. So now, you click on the lesson. You can see here, these are the, the lessons, um, the, the curriculum. And what we are doing today is general introduction. introduction. So, yeah, so after uh, this training, this um, video is going to be uploaded on this general introduction. So that's what we are doing today. And that's how we'll be uh, um, feeding all these other sections, like uh, project management. Uh, we'll break everything down. We'll see our table of content in project management, business analysis, and everything. So then we can click on this uh, live class to see how it looks. So when you log in, yeah, yeah, you click on live class and you bring us here. If we're having a live class, this platform is, um, is integrated with Zoom. In that, okay. when, when an instructor uh, is um, having a live class, you can just come here and click here and you go straight into the, into the live class. You don't need to um, start um, typing the yeah. Zoom uh, this thing like what we are doing now. But uh, over the like uh, uh, with previous experience and based on network and some some people uh, students do struggle. So I I equally share the Zoom um, login details within the forum. So that's how we log into the live class when you log into this portal. Then let's look at another tab, which is certificate. Let's look at the certificate. You can see here, we've not done anything. The certificate is on zero um, percent. So when the, the certificate is on 100% completion, you will see um, a button where you can download your certificate. So, but you cannot see it. You can you can you can download any certificate until you're on hundred percent completion, meaning that you have fulfilled all the requirements. You fulfill all the requirements in this uh, course. So that's how the certificate works. Once we've uploaded some video and after watching the video um, from the beginning to the end and click finish, you will see a percentage here. So and you continue to read until you finish everything that is required of you in this course. So you cannot download the certificate if, 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 you, not, if you don't finish this program. Uh, I think this have answered the, the question about do we have a certificate? Another place, yes, another place we are going to look into is um, on forum. 
here on this forum, that's where you can ask questions. You know, any question you, you want to ask, you can ask the question from the forum here and you'll be attended to. Somebody, if you ask, type the, the, the summary of um, the title or the summary and then in detail, if there's anything about any topic or discourse that, um, because what we, why we are using this is that uh, we want the documentation of everything we are doing. So that even the students, the, the question you've asked can help other students. So some other students can come here and uh, see the questions to the other uh, you are, uh, students are asking and the, ans the, the, the answers given to those questions. It can help them to solve their own um, queries and uh, issues like that. So that is it. When you ask a question, the instructor will respond to you. If uh, other students can equally comment, everybody is a forum where everybody, um, every major, every stakeholder in this uh, program can collaborate. It's just like uh, a WhatsApp group where everybody collaborates. This is uh, what this um, forum serves as here. Then another tab here is notice board. Notice board is where we publish notice, information regarding this. Like um, in your email, some of you must have gotten this, um, this notice. You know, and that's even how some of you joined the the Zoom, um, the WhatsApp group. So this is uh, the notice board. Even if you, you, you don't get um, a notice from your email, you can come here every day to check a notice, whether there is a notice, whether um, you are canceling any class, if you are canceling any life. For instance, if you are not using using um, WhatsApp group, this is where you'll be getting every notification that if you are changing the time for this, for, for, for a live session, it will appear here in the notice board. And any information in this notice board, a copy of this information will be sent to your email as well. So that's the importance of notice board. It's very important that uh, you check it. It's just that now we are, we are, we are using um, a WhatsApp group because it's more handy and because of the mobile aspect of it. Here is assignment. This is where you'll be receiving your assignment. As you can see, there is no assignment yet. But once there is an assignment, this is here is going to appear. And you see the assignment. And after um, doing the assignment, you come here and submit the assignment. And the instructor will go through your, your work. And what do you mark here? You see everything will be uh, based on uh, this tab. So that's how you can see your assignment and uh, um, manage your assignments. And that's it about the assignment. So um, that is how it works from the um, student's uh, view. And for now, if you have any question based on this, I'll be happy to take that question. Okay, um, no question, good. Then we'll move on to the next um, thing, which is um, 
uh, in producing um, what we are doing for today. Uh, the, the, the project management, the business analysis. Yeah. So now we have seen the way the, the platform works and uh, no one is asking any question, means that uh, everyone is comfortable. Everyone can navigate around the platform. Then we are leaving the, the platform. And I'll stop sharing this for now. So this is the agenda, although we've already started already. This is how we should have started in every meeting, even when we start uh, our project. Every meeting we have to, 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 to bring the uh, list of what we have for the day. Like here, I've uh, introduced myself you guys have um, introduced yourself. We've um, introduced the 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 platform. So the next thing is to introduce the program, and um, we're going to bring the slide now for project management, and we will look at what is obtainable uh, in the table of contents. So um, this is the, the project management, and uh, this is our table of content. In our table of content, um, we have um, we have introduction, general introduction, and we have um, introduction to project management. Then we we'll look at the project management rules. And we we'll look at uh, project management team role. And we we'll look at project management components. We we'll look at project management techniques. And we we'll look at project management methodologies. Then we we'll look at agile project management because we need to look um, more in details. Uh, into agile project management because this was so many companies are using these days and why we are going to be um, deploying our solutions, uh, our project, we'll be using uh, more of agile methodology. So then we'll look at project management tools. There's so many tools in project management. We need to look at the key ones. Then we look at project management soft skills. As a soft skills that you need to have as a project manager, it's very important. Because during the interview, you face that um, question a lot. Then we look at project management life cycle. We've got a framework we'll be using um, in deploying all our projects, we are going to look at the framework as well. Then look at other materials and resources that we have available that will really um, help you 
And we've got a lot of templates that will help you to, to kickstart your career and manage any kind of project. So you will not um, struggle because this template will help and guide you very well um, when you start your career as a project manager. So we'll have a lot of them we are going to share as we progress in this uh, course. So for today, we are not going deep into any of uh, these um, courses. It's just the uh, looking at the course outline, what is obtainable, the, the, the table of content. That's what we are going to do today. Today is just about introduction. So we are not going to pro, um, go beyond uh, this um, table of content for today. And we are going to move into uh, business analysis. So that's what we're going to do next. Trying to um, share the slide, but the slide is not coming up. So this is um, business analysis. We've um, seen our project management. This is business analysis. So this is the um, table of content in business analysis. Yeah, we're going to look at the introduction, a general introduction then um introduction to business analysis um business analysis um case study we, we need to do a bit of case study um to help you guys understand uh, what the business analysis is all about then we'll do the business analysis um roles we'll look at the roles in business analysis that's where we will look at all these rules like uh, data analysis. Um, we have so many rules. Uh, there's where business analysis is being uh, structured. We have business business analysis and we have a technical business analysis. And we have um, in business analysis, they can call it so many names like solution architect. They can call it business analysis, um, product owner. So we are going to look at all these roles in business um, analysis. And we're going to look at um, uh, stakeholder analysis in business analysis. We're going to look at business analysis skills. There's a, these core skills that uh, business analysis require like a problem solving skills and the rest of them. We're going to look into that in details. Then we're going to look at um, business analysis, um, core concept model. Then we're going to look at business 
requirements. In business analysis, we are going to be dealing, uh, dwelling in this um, requirement a lot. We're going to hear in a lot of uh, requirement, this requirement that in business analysis, you know, requirement gathering, requirement um, analysis. Uh, so we are going to be doing a lot with requirements in business analysis. Then a business analysis um, techniques. There are so many techniques uh, we use in business analysis. So we are going to look at all those techniques like um, um, uh, data collection and the rest of them. So there are so many techniques, but we have more than 50 techniques in business analysis, but we are going to just concentrate on the core techniques that is um, trending in the market. Then we have um, business analysis, analysis tools. We have so many tools we use in business analysis like um, uh, Unified Modeling Language where we use uh, Microsoft Visio, um, Lucid Chart, Draw.io, and the rest of them. So we're going to look at all the tools we need to be uh, a, a, a super business analyst. Business. So we have um, project management methodologies and framework. We'll, we'll treat that in project management, we'll probably treat this, that in um, uh, business analysis. Because business analysis, you are a project manager and you need to know how to manage projects very well. So. That's why we are bringing this uh, project management methodologies and framework in uh, business analysis. So business analysis is mainly about uh, um, deploying solutions and what so solutions are softwares. That's why we're going to treat um, software development life cycle very well in business analysis. So we're going to do that. Because every business analyst, you must know how to deploy um, solutions, which are solutions are software um, end to end, from the beginning to the end. You must be able to do that. That's the life cycle is from the beginning to the end, from initiate stage to closure stage, from initiate stage, define stage, um, execute stage and the uh, closure stage. That's a life cycle. We'll look at that, si uh, that life cycle. Then um, project management life cycle. You know, there is a, a, a difference between um, software development life cycle and project management life cycle. You can manage a project, but we are not deploying any, any software. So that's the difference. So the software development comes into project management life cycle. So we, we have to do that so that we clear the diff, this. Uh, a lot of people are, they get confused about project management life cycle and software development life cycle. So that's why, why we are looking at it and so that we'll clear all these uh, doubts. And then all the course materials and resources that are very relevant, like um, all the necessary templates, like uh, data um, analysis templates, uh, stakeholder analysis templates, uh, risk metrics templates, uh, risk management templates, all the templates you can think of. We'll have all of them and we are going to um, share everything um, with you in this, uh, in this course. So that's um, all about um, the content. This is the table of content. So that's what we are going to be seeing in this program, in this course. So, and one more thing 
is to um, introduce our framework which we use in developing our 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 solutions, our projects, managing all our projects. That's one more thing we need to do now, and I'm going to pull the the template for that, so you see how it's structured. So this is our our template. This is a, a, a combination of waterfall and the agile methodology. So we'll call it a waja. We we'll only have only only the templates only for for agile. agile. So, but I love using this waja because. <laughs> It helps you to, to structure your project and then continue with Agile um, because of the flexibility in um, Agile. So this is uh, how we structured. This will help us to manage projects um, from the beginning to the end and um, help us to manage, to, uh, manage and uh, develop software from beginning to the end. Because if you look at it from here, we see all we need to do. At initial stage, we know, we see all our tasks and you see all our deliverable and we see who owns the responsibilities, who owns who, what is required of a project manager, what is required of business analysts and, um, Everybody knows their role. The scrum master, the testers, everybody, you know what they do. <laughs> so this is structure. It's a template. It's one of the, the, the templates that we're going to provide for you guys so that um, you know how to manage projects uh, very well. And uh, I'll be using it and it'll be helping me, makes things, makes life easy for me. So these are the things. There are so many of them we have that are more even better than this one. So but, uh, it's just because I wanted you to see how we manage a project end to end. And um, from here you see, let's say initiate stage. The first thing you need to do is a receive mandate. Then you assemble project team. Then you define roles and responsibility. Then uh, identify stakeholders and their uh, expectation through stakeholder analysis. Then uh, you, you identify the scope of work through project charter and uh, you select project approach. You create a strategy document. You create pre a preliminary project plan. You facilitate initial requirement gathering it's for BAs and uh, you document existing process. You do your requirement analysis and gap analysis. You document your future processes. You validate your high level requirement. You estimate your high level requirement. Then you do your solution evaluation and you create your business case. And that's how you close your first chapter in the C stage. And your, your business case becomes your milestone in this, uh, in this uh, initial stage. So these are things we are going to go in details. It's going to be very technical. You know, it's going to be technical because that's how I do my own. I teach technically, it's not just um, speaking languages or knowing grammar. You need to do it technical so you can know how to do it. So that's how I do my own. So, yeah. So that is it. That is um, all I have for you at this uh, introductory stage. So it's for you to know what you are expecting. There is a lot. Even this four months is not enough to cover this thing very yeah. well, but it's going to be a crash program, you know? And uh, I believe after this, 
you are going to smash any kind of interview you, um, you, that comes your way. So or if you want to migrate your career change, that this will be going, going to be very easy for you. Um, if you are planning for a career change. So that is it. So um, I want questions at this point. Love that you've got any question? For now, I don't really have any question. All right. Yeah, Femi, you, you are raising the, um, your hand. Uh, yes, I, I, I want to know, uh, like, what time are we meeting tomorrow? Tomorrow, we are we're starting with um, project management. That's the first um, thing we need to start with. And um, will, what we're going to do is that when is there like some of you are taking only business analysis, we are starting with project management and we are not going to be uh, doing it side by side. So when we finish project management, come down to, to, to business analysis. But we are going to finish the whole training um, within one month. Even if, 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 if we have time, we can finish it even in um, two weeks. But I don't want you people to, 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 to struggle because I'm going to be giving assignments. So it's not just uh, reading slides. I don't teach like that. So because we are going to, to be doing um, some, some homework, so that's why it's going to take that long. Or some, if you go to some companies for to, for, to do your training in project, they can just give you the whole training in two days and you go home. So, but um, we are starting with project management. And those in a business analysis, uh, I know they might feel, oh, I need to start. We are going to share the link for our um, previous classes. So you can go there and be, uh, prepping yourself. So that um, is what we are going to be doing. I hope I've answered your question. Hello, Femi. Yeah, I think I think you are. So that means, like I, I am on the uh, on business analysis option. So does that mean that I won't be joining tomorrow's class? Yeah, that's what it means. Okay, so when when will my own class now kickstart? Huh? So when will the business analysis kickstart? Business when analysis. Will the, uh, when will the training start for? Business analysis will start yeah. as soon as we finish project management, which will be um give and take in two weeks' time. In two weeks after two weeks. But we'll have um um I think I've shared that with you already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, but I can be taking your, your, your question if based on the live, the other classes we will come through if you have any, but the, the proper training for this session, yes. that is how we structured it. Okay. I think it's okay. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Uh, any more questions? Um, well, if you don't have any more questions, then um, this will bring uh, our today's um, uh, live session to the end. And uh, I thank you so much for your time and uh, the feats you have that we can really do it for you. So, Tomorrow we crack on. So you are not wasting time and we'll try as much as we can to, to finish this within um within the, the time frame. So we are project managers, so we work with time. So yeah. yeah.
to work with time and work uh, time on budget. So, so these are that's why I like starting with project uh, management, so that you learn how to manage your time. You know, so even in that um, the in Femi, the, the, the link I shared with you, there are still project management there. So I shared everything we did with you. Yeah. So, but this is going to be good for it's going to be a refresher for you. And this will have because oh, it's going to be an improved version. Uh, like I said, every every session is going to be well, is going to be a continuous improvement. You know. So that is it. So thank you so much, and um, see you tomorrow. I'll be posting the, the link. Time. Yeah, the link. I'll be sending the links as well. Yeah, you know how to um, use the, the, the portal. So uh, from now, we'll be uh, making use of the portal so much. And, and equally, um, I will encourage us to learn how to make this other part so that I won't be doing everything via WhatsApp because uh, some companies don't use uh, WhatsApp a lot. So we try to be more professional. No, uh, okay, have, yeah. I, have I actually gone to the portal yesterday? All right. All right. All right. I did too. All right. Thank you so much. I will, Thank you, sir. Yeah, this particular video. Is going to be uploaded to the respective um, area. So if you're in project management, you see it. If you're in business analysis, you see it everywhere. Uh, you get it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Thank Good night, you, sir. Good night.